Hey guys, this is Bison. So, as uh, some of you know, the NUC 9, when it first came out from Intel, did not support anything other than standard memory configurations. In fact, some memory reviewers actually had problems getting it to work above 2400 MHz, which is really a shame with uh, the sort of product the 9980HK in there could really be. Well, uh, according to, I believe it was Der Bauer, Intel promised him that in an upcoming update, they would resolve some memory compatibility issues. Well, it's been a few BIOS updates since he posted that video, so I decided to take a gamble and see if that had been resolved. I ordered a Crucial by Micron 16GB DDR4 3200MHz sodium kit from Amazon, and it arrived a few hours ago. I loaded it up, and Maybe sure enough, the RAM, when yeah. I booted into the BIOS, it was actually already enabled. The XMB settings were automatically installed at 3200 MHz, and in fact, I can't seem to disable the that? XMB settings no matter what I did. Um, I've tried re uh, rushing the settings, I've tried manually setting it to default, and it just works at the XMP settings now, which is weird, but... Um, no complaints to me, it's not like I'd be running it at stock anyways. As far as the improvements that go from it, overall my old kit had an 88.8% kit on, uh, rating on user benchmark. The new kit has 97.9% rating. On multi-color, it went from 28.2 gigabytes a second all the way up to 34.1 gigabytes a second. Single core increased from 27.5 to 31.7, and latency reduced from 73.1 nanoseconds down to 50.6 nanoseconds. So that's like a third drop. That's pretty darn good if you ask me. So uh, even though it didn't support these things when it first came out, it looks like it is now working properly. Do you properly. have plans for dinner? Okay, now... Above. Can you see the insides real well?
I'll have to cut that out of the video so nobody sees that. <laughs> that was bad. Oh dear. <laughs> I didn't do that. Cut. Didn't mean that either.